Buckaroos, I am getting ready to walk into the Columbia House Brewery and Tap Room for the very first time. Let's go check it out. Howdy do, Becker. So I just wandered in this place. I had not been before. It is. Let me get out of that sun, though. Didn't realize that glare was here when I first started a video. Hey, uh, Columbus House. I started doing a video and I said Columbia. So let me start over. Columbus House. Let me show you the glass here. It's very nice. Columbus House Brewery here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. They've got four on. They got four regulars on tap. Uh, the yellow card is a golden ale, 5.8 percent. The Nutty Runner, Nut Brown Ale, 5.6. Their Weekend Warrior IPA, 6.4. Then they have a Spotty Adi Oatmeal Stout, 7.2%. But then they have two seasonals. And I decided to start with one of the seasonals called Piles of Miles, meant to be a New England style IPA. Let me show you. It has that very hazy orange juice look like the style has. The style seems to be, uh, he said that it's bitter with Warrior, and it also uses a uh, Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy. So all the usual suspects there. The aroma's gorgeous, I gotta tell you. I mean, I've been kind of tough on the style, but <laughs> because I like to make fun. <laughs> I do, man. <laughs> Uh, the aroma is a fresh orange zest. It, it smells like it smells like a tropical fruit punch. If you ever had a tropical fruit punch, that's what it smells like. I mean, you get some pineapple, you get a lot of orange. I noticed fresh orange zest right off the top. Uh, you're going to get some other tropical fruits. You may get mango, uh, a mango. I said pineapple already. Papaya. You might get passion fruit. You might get all of that stuff. Finish is very nice, very clean, very dry. Oh. Oh, the carbonation is perfect. I think it's done right. I, I like it. I, I, I gotta say though, I just this isn't a style I'm 100% in love with that I want all the time. I'm not as big a fan as everything tasting like fruit juice as most younger beer geeks are these days, or those that are just uh, into craft beer for the trend. Um, I'm just, I, you know, I, I like more dimension. But I think for the style, it's done well. But I will admit that I'm not an expert on, on the style. I haven't had all that many. Uh, but from, from what I have had, I, I think this really stacks up against any of them. It's done well. It's very tasty. It's very clean. It gives you the flavors you're looking for in a beer like this without being muddled. And I think that's where some go wrong. When you try to put too many flavors together, you don't get a clear flavor comes out of the muddle. I think this is put together nicely. So there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back up there and relax and drink my beer. But if I come up with any new notes, I'll be back. Uh, I plan on having a couple, three or, or four from, from Columbus out. So I hope you all are having a good one. Have trouble with my camera angle. I'm trying to beer whisper. I'll talk to you later. Well, how do y'all? I am still at uh, Cl Columbus House. Look at the name, right? This time, Columbus House Brewery in uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas. So I'm trying one of their four flagships, so Weekend Warrior IPA. Now I started with their seasonal piles of miles for New England IPA, 5.4%. I'm going with their, their the IPA they started with, which he said uses Warrior and CTZ. Uh, 
Oh, that's it. Was it? Was it what I was expecting? Actually, it's very interesting. It's a. Uh, Wow, that is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's a, it's a whole different animal from the New England IPA, I guess. I should have had a golden ale as a, the, the yellow card golden ale as a palate cleanser in between two IPAs. So that might that was probably my mistake. So you do get some you get some citrus on the nose with this as well, like the other one. But I'm also getting a lot of malt on the nose. <clears throat> really has that kind of dank IPA kind of feel out there, uh, which you don't get from that New England style. It's very interesting. I'm getting some. I'm certainly getting some tangerine notes without a doubt. <laughs> Just feeling like a an orange blossom like notes as well. I'm gonna let this sit a minute. I'm gonna try to come back with some other flavors. Well, how do you do? I'm back. Let me pick up some more notes. So let this sit a little bit for this weekend warmer. I was getting some aromas that was throwing me off. It was driving me crazy trying to figure out what it is. So I know you're going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but it's, it's, it's almost like a, like a, a fresh black walnut aroma. I know that because where I live in the Ozarks, black walnut season comes around, and that's what it smells like. I swear to goodness, what's it going I know, I think I'm nuts too, but that's what I'm saying. It's bringing back, I smell that, it's bringing back that memory, man. <laughs> So now that I've got that warm a little bit, I'm getting a lot of stone fruit in the middle, particularly apricot. It's a very pungent beer. Uh, again, it just has it kind of has that dank feel about you. Uh, I'm, I'm also feeling some almost like white pepper notes right at the very end. It's very nice, very enjoyable. Uh, weekend Warrior, 6.4 percent. They don't list the IBUs. Yeah. But it doesn't feel incredibly hoppy. It's a very drinkable idea. It's not a, you know, it's not a palate wicker. But there is enough where you know it's, I mean, you know you're drinking an IPA. So there is that kind of balance there between nobody drinking an IPA and just completely wrecking your palate altogether. So you go, hey, I'm done to be a risk <laughs> Prolific beer drinker, purveyor wisdom, and all right, guy. Well, how do you do, Becker? So I have one last one here at, at Columbus House Brewery in, in Fayetteville. So I had their, their seasonal, their piles of miles, 5.4% New England style IPA. Then I had. Well, I had the regular IPA, what are they? four flagship beers, their Yellow Card Golden Ale, their Nutty Runner uh, Nut Brown Ale, uh, their Weekend Warrior IPA, that's what I had. And now I'm having the other flagship. So I've covered three or four flagships in one seasonal. Uh, the Spotty Adi Oatmeal Stout, 7.2%. They don't list IBUs here. Oh, it's very nice. Uh, it is it's old Gale Stout weather. And I kind of debated on what to have next, but I didn't want to have something that I'd already had. Uh, I thought about having the, the yellow card golden ale, but I had had it once before, but it's been a while. I didn't wasn't really in the mood for that either. So I thought, well, I've never had the spotty Audi. I do like an old meal stout, even though it's not old meal stout weather. So let's give her a shot, man. Let's check it out, you know. You know what I'm saying, man? Anyways, uh, before I lose it completely here. It is nice. You get the aromas are beautiful, actually. You certainly feel uh, oatmeal on the nose. I personally get a lot of nutty toffee going on. Almost like a, an almond, like a toasted almond and toffee. Hmm. Yeah.
Uh, you, I'm getting hints of uh, chocolate, hints of dark chocolate, I'm going to say. I'll say about a 60% dark. Not quite as bitter as a 70, but more than a 50. <laughs> I do like my dark chocolate, man. Don't question me on the dark chocolate. Uh, you are going to get hints of coffee, as you might get from many oatmeal stouts. It's a nice beer. Hey, I'm not going to go into great. I, I just want to kind of go over as much as I could from my from my time here at Columbus House. If I come up with anything new to say, anything relevant, anything, uh, you know, somewhat intelligent or even funny, I will be back.